Hello guys, this is Vishal from Visual Language Experts. Today I am going to discuss the most important or the most complex task or the module from your PTE which is the reading one. Now a lot of students struggle in the reading module especially when it comes to time management. Now we have seen that from 16th of November there have been some changes especially to the time as well. Now it is only 2 hours exam therefore you have to be very good with your time management. Therefore, today we are going to discuss the time management for your reading module. Now we have all the questions lined up over here and we have all the estimated time which we need to spend per question in order to you know make sure that we have enough time for all the important tasks and we are able to complete all the questions in the timely manner. Now to start with you are going to get maximum 30 minutes that is it. So maximum reading you are going to get 30 minutes and you have to finish all the tasks within 30 minutes. Now the very first question you are going to get in the exam is reading and writing fill in the blanks. Now reading and writing fill in the blanks we all know is the most scoring task for your reading module and you get somewhere around 5 to 7 of them in the exam. Now the very first thing you have to do is for the reading and writing fill in the blanks you have to spend most of the time from your 30 minutes on this task alone. Why? Because it is the most scoring task. Now it contributes marks towards your reading and writing as well. Now on average you can spend 2 minutes 30 seconds maximum per question. Earlier we could spend around 3 minutes but now we have to manage within 2 minutes 30 seconds. And on average you are going to get somewhere around you know 13, 14, 15 minutes max for this task. Okay? So half of the time approximately from your 30 minutes you are going to spend on reading and writing fill in the blanks. If you get somewhere around 6 questions or 7, okay. if you are going to get a little bit less uh, that is 5 then obviously you have to spend somewhere around 12, 12, 12 and half minutes okay, on this task. Now it is very important that you spend this much time not more than this otherwise you are going to struggle in the following tasks. Okay. So once you have done your reading and writing fill in the blanks you should have more than half of the time still pending for your rest of the tasks. Okay? That means you are right on the clock and you are right on the right time management guidelines which we are discussing over here. That means you are not going to struggle for the rest of the questions. Okay? Now once we have finished the reading and writing fill in the blanks task, the second task you know get in the exam is multiple choice questions, multiple answers. Now we know that this task is not scoring. Lot of students still spend lot of time on this task, couple of minutes at least. Our suggestion is just spend 30 seconds per question on this task. If you're going to spend more than that, you're going to have less time for your reading blanks or reorders. Okay? Now on average you're going to get one to two of them in the exam. So 30 seconds per question is more than enough and again there is a negative marking. So if you cannot get two answers, one answer is fine, select one answer and move to the next question. Moving to the next task which is important task now, reorder paragraphs. Now reorder paragraphs still you are going to get 2 to 4, on average we have seen students are getting 2, right. So we have approximately 2 minutes 30 seconds again which is the maximum time per question guys, not the minimum time. Okay? So maximum time is 2 minutes 30 seconds per question so that means on average we have somewhere around 5 minutes to spend on reorder paragraphs. Okay? Now after the reorder paragraphs the last important task from your reading module is reading fill in the blanks. Now this particular task is more important than your reorders. Okay? Some students do not understand this. You have to understand that reading blanks and reading and writing fill in the blanks are more important in scoring than your reorder paragraphs. Okay? So do not spend too much time practicing reorders where you are not good with the reading blanks or reading and writing blanks because at the end of the day these two tasks, these two type of blanks are more scoring than your reorder paragraphs that means you need to practice them more than your reorder paragraph. Similarly in the exam also you are going to get somewhere around 3 to 5 for the reading blanks on average we have seen somewhere around 4 every student is getting for the reading blanks and therefore we have approximately 9 minutes to spend overall which is 2 minutes 15 seconds per question maximum on average. Okay? 
after your reading fill in the blanks you still have the last task to finish which is again not scoring at all multiple choice question single answer okay now on average students are getting one to two but we have seen students are only getting one nowadays okay so again we only have 30 seconds per question again on average we have one minute to spend on this if you're getting two of them okay now this way we will be able to finish all the tasks in an effective manner now it's very important that you spend time on the tasks which are scoring not on the tasks which are not scoring and yes reading and writing fill in the blanks again consume half of the time from your reading section but you cannot spend more than that okay on average again two minutes 30 seconds per question this is what we have and this is where we need to make sure we manage your time effectively we have seen a lot of time students spend around three three and a half minutes per question and it's very hard for them to finish their reading fill in the blanks so they rush up they miss out the questions and they're not able to get full marks or the desired score in the reading module just because they couldn't manage their time effectively so that's very important that you manage the time effectively not only in your exam but our suggestion is when you're practicing at home make sure you try to finish your tasks in the time frame given over here so you're used to that time now again you have to give multiple mocks before your actual exam so that you are always right on your time management skills so that you don't face any issues while you're giving the exam now if you like this video share it with your friends do subscribe our channel and follow us on facebook we are happy to have more students with the free mock test and with the free template and if you want any of them please send us a message or comment your email address below thank you guys i'll see you in the next video good luck everyone